in your way, son? Mm -hmm. cool. <clears throat> well, this is, uh, yeah, it's been a long time. This bottle has aged very well on my desk for the last five and a half years. And it was on the mayor, I think it was on Mayor Brooker's desk prior to that. And maybe even a mayor's before that. Uh, thank you, Julian uh, DeCock, for being here. I know you want to be behind the scenes, but uh, you've been working on this since 1985 and then had to retire. And it's good we had to bring you out of retirement to uh, help us launch this. Mike, uh, new to the community, this is not a new problem. Look at the track, this is perfect timing. Um, but uh, I've told this story a few times. I believe it was uh, the year we hosted a, uh, an Olympics in Calgary was when we started talking about the 1A22 for the first time. My parents who are here, thank you, um, lived just up the road and relocated out of Cochrane at that time in 1988 because the 1A22 interchange was going to start imminently. So uh, here we are, 35 plus, 37 years later, um, and this is an exciting day. And I'm glad, thank you guys for being here. Um, we just happen to be the council that gets to be in the chairs when the province does their big thing behind us. But this couldn't go uncelebrated. We had to do a few minutes here and kick this off in style. So just want to say thank you to Alberta Transportation. Um, thank you to our staff and administration, Mike, representing uh, ELT today for all of the work behind the scenes that makes a complex project like this get underway. And it's not just about traffic. As we can see, we have trains, uh, pedestrian traffic. We're going underneath the, the 1A here. We'll have a new connection here with the bridge for our community of uh, course, all the interchange change behind us is going to significantly change and impact how traffic flows through our community. And thank you to everyone who had a hand in it. Present, past, and future. So uh, that's a just an amazing feat finally to be at this, this juncture. Um, and really, I, I guess if we want to say thank you to Cochrane for being patient all these years waiting for this project to happen. We would get blamed a lot for this not happening, but I think we've really done a, a good job. Of course, we're going to pat ourselves on the back today, celebrate this success. We weren't able to just get the interchange done, but as I said, the pathway the uh, gap one which is right here this was going to actually funnel down to two lanes and then back to four we convinced the province to get that in this this project which was at that time 10 more million dollars uh, prior to inflation and then gap two going up to sunset we were able to convince the province to include that in this project another 10 million dollars prior to inflation so uh, this was a really big deal so thanks to everyone uh, for being here I think we want to shoot some confetti cannons off and then we'll pop this. It's probably too old to drink. And we have council tonight. So, uh, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. But let's uh, do a countdown and shoot some confetti off. And it's biodegradable. Before we get in trouble for that. So we'll, well, there's Tara. Oh, she's here. She's here. We can do the one more cannon. I think that's it, but I'm happy to sell all the Just in time. Now we can finally open a long away 